How to fix trading disabled on MT5. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you why your MT5 account shows trading disabled and how to resolve it. And I'm going to tell you how you can cover common causes like activation status, read only access, symbol limitations, auto trading toggles and server side restrictions with pro tips to get trading back online fast. So let's get started. So the first reason might be that your account is not funded yet. When you first open a live trading account, brokers typically require you to add funds before you can place trades. If you have just registered and haven't deposited money yet, that's most likely why trading is blocked. Go ahead and fund the account and the restriction should be lifted. The second issue might be glitches or corrupted Ape data. Sometimes if the app itself is the issue, if you've already deposited but still can't trade, you're going to clear the app's cache or reinstall it. To do that, you can simply head over to settings and then you're going to scroll down and click on general. After that, click on iPhone storage and search for your MT5. After that, click on it and you're going to click on offload app. This will free up storage used by the app, but keep its documents and data. Reinstalling the app will reinstate your data if the app is still available for download. When you click on offload app, then you'll be able to see an install button. Simply click on that and your issue would be resolved. If you're using Android, then you can simply clear cache and you'll be good to go. And the third reason might be market hours. So even if your account is ready and the app is working fine, trading might still be disabled if the market is closed. Forex pairs, commodities and indices all have specific trading sessions and they aren't opened 24 by 7. Simply wait until the market reopens to continue trading. By checking these three things, your account funding, the app's condition and market hours, you can usually solve the trading disabled issue on MT5 very quickly. So that's the end of today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.